It is very a gray. gray. A lot gray. A lot gray and get you get used to a, a lot gray. I don't have a lot of sunshine in the seven-day forecast. We do have a lot of rain in the seven-day forecast, and we'll get to the timeline in just a second. We're going to start with where the rain is falling right now. This is live Doppler 13 radar. If you are south of Indianapolis, actually had a few peaks of late-day sunshine. Bloomington, Columbus, south to Bedford and Seymour, relatively dry. On the other hand, we're still tracking some steady rain from Kokomo to Lafayette up to Rensselaer and back through Crawfordsville. It's in this area that rain totals are already up over an inch. Some steady rain falling across the southern sections of Wabash County along and just south of 24. Back through Peru into Logansport. We move south and west and pick up that pocket of heavy rain we tracked at the top of the hour that was in Fowler and Pine Village. It's now over Tippecanoe County crossing Interstate 65 and headed toward uh, Flora and perhaps as far south as Frankfurt. We will keep rain in the forecast over the next several days. Temperatures right now in the 60s. 64 in Indianapolis. We have a southwest wind at 8. Today's high also the current temperature of 64. Officially in Indianapolis, just under 3 tenths of an inch of rain. In addition to the rain, we've got the warmth. 60s locally, and we have some 70s on the map too. Right now in Columbus, it is 72 degrees. We are forecasting this large stream of moisture to continue to push our way over the next couple of days along a stalled front. For the next couple of hours, the majority of the steady rain will be across the northern half of the state, and it's our far northern counties, say from Lafayette to Peru to Marion, Hartford City, and points north under a flood watch. That goes through Wednesday morning. Most of our major rivers are also under flood warnings, and with an additional inch to maybe three between now and noontime on Wednesday, unfortunately, that lowland flooding situation will continue to get worse, and if you live by one of those rivers, you're going to need to keep a very close eye on river levels. Future Track 13 between now and 11 p.m. shows the majority of the steady rain again falling across the northern part of the state. Scattered showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms in the forecast as we head into Tuesday night and early Wednesday. The overall weather pattern is soggy over the next several days. But we come close to a record high tomorrow afternoon. The record is 72. We have 70 in the forecast. It will be wet and windy. Rainy and cooler will drop back into the 40s for Wednesday and Thursday, back into the 50s with perhaps more rain and storms Friday into the start of the weekend. Very active weather pattern coming up at 530. Sean will have another look at Live Doppler 13 radar for you.